What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for cooling with Jay as always. So today's video guys, we're going to go over uh, the two helmets I've been using for the past year. The Shoei RF 1200 and the AGV Corsa R. Alright guys, let's get into this video. Hit the gas on a nitro youngin. Cooling and being cool, that's ice cold youngin. We really bad it, bad it, no bluffing. Self made boy, that's the end of discussion. Cooling with Jay, they know we cooling, right? Cooling with Jay, they know we cooling, right? Cooling with Jay, they know we cooling. You ain't really cooling, or you think you're fooling. Alright guys, so as you can see here, my two helmets. Um, I have now been primarily using the AGV now um, since I accidentally dropped this one um, about a few months ago. So I could have kept it. Of course, I could have kept riding, but it's one of those things where I didn't want to chance it after dropping the helmet off my bike. Um, so I figured, unfortunately, that meant a new one, which also meant upgrade for me, right? So I guess a lose-win situation. Um, so this is my AGV, okay? So obviously what you're seeing on the front is my custom GoPro mount. So um, in the description down below, I will leave the link to how I make this custom mount. As you can tell, I've done it for both helmets. So in the AGV line, they do incremental sizes, whereas the um, Shoei, I, I think, I, I believe just does your standard extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. Whereas the Corsa has a more fine tuned which of course I think goes to extra small, small, um, medium, large, um, sorry, small, medium, medium, large, medium, large, and an extra large. So in that medium category, you have what's in between a small and a medium and what's in between a medium and a large. So this is actually a medium large in the uh, Corsa or the AGV and I am a medium in the showy, okay? I believe they're both intermediate oval head shape. Um, again, fitment um, in the AGV, uh, for some reason, not for some reason, but this guy obviously being more pointed, um, I can feel my, not my mouth, but I can almost feel like the um, tip part of the helmet. Like when I have it on, I can feel the tip part of the helmet. So I almost feel that. Whereas with the Shoei, I don't, okay? Um, with the Shoei, I'll, I'll give Fitment nod to the Shoei. So and now, now they, they both fit great, but as far as just feeling a little bit of the front part of the nose of this guy, I'll give that nod to the uh, Shoei. So um, next we'll go over, okay guys, so next we will go over airflow. So airflow between the both is very, very similar. Um, of course, you have your, I'll pop this, y'all can see. All right, so airflow, okay. You have your, of course, chin vents. Chin vents on both. Um, for this guy, you pop it. See, so. So this guy comes down. So this one slides down, see? That's your chin vent on this one. And then, um, of course your crowls, okay? Uh, one, uh, two, so, so you have two, two clicks. You have like a half open and then you have a full open on the showy, okay? Um, on the AGV Corsa, you have, a, Kind of the same thing, like you have a half and a close. Um, so on this, now remember guys, for me personally, when you're looking at helmets, always try to have some gloves on. Um, on the AGV, you have these these uh, pull points where you can firmly, firmly grab it with your uh, gloves and pull them back, okay? Whereas this guy, since it's a smooth surface, it's somewhat harder to grab with your with your gloves. So, and then of course you have your vents in the back. Now, pros and cons for the vents, okay? Um, like, I meant, like I mentioned before, the con with the uh, Shoei is the fact that you can't, it's hard to grab these 
on the move. So when you're coming up to a light or when you're riding and you want to instantly close or open these, these are hard to find with your gloves. Whereas these guys is very easy to find. So pro on this. However, on the flip side though, they, they flip when it comes to the chin vents. So when it comes to the chin vent on the AGV, it's on the inside of the helmet. So it's weird. See right here, it's on the inside of the helmet. So it's very, it's very weird. So it's almost one of those things, basically you have to know before you ride um, if you want it open or not. So it's, it's weird. I don't know, AGV, if you're watching this, I don't know why you have that inside, but they do. But anyway, on the showy, of course you have the um, exit vent. Whereas this guy just stays open, okay? There's no, there's no lever on the back for the uh, exit vents, okay? So that's it for the vents. All right, guys, so now we'll move on to the visor. So this, this part of this helmet is probably my biggest con, okay, of the helmet. Like over everything else what's going on with this helmet, this is my biggest con. Um, this would almost be perfect in my opinion as far as I'd love it all the way around if it was for this one thing and it is the fact of there's no real hard um, Stop points for the visor see it's just open and kind of close. I mean you can kind of let it drop And it'll kind of like stay cracked so you can get some wind coming into your face, but there's no clear like indentions in the visor for it to stop at these certain points. Like there's no locking mechanism, just straight open and straight close. And of course it's one lock in the center, pops up, easy to find, okay? Whereas with the showy, so you can kind of hear this. See? So what's cool with the showy is you can have it locked right here. So you can have it each one. So love that about the visor. I'm sorry, about the uh, the mechanism, okay? As far as release goes, um, I'll get that in a second. But yeah, so um, win for the showy on its visor mechanism. So since we're on the visor, we might as well continue. Um, this is the uh, transition visor. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. So this visor pretty much means that when light hits it, this, this tints. So this is a clear, almost like a light, very, 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 very light smoke during the day. And then of course, when, when the sun hits this um, piece, it turns dark. So I don't have to do any kind of visor swapping, whereas the um, AGV line doesn't offer anything like that. They do offer kind of like a battery powered one um, that you have to press and it goes from like a, like a, like a light smoke to a dark smoke. Um, but of course it's battery operated one, it's expensive too. Um, I believe the price of this one was 150. Um, Cause it comes with, so they both come with clear Visors, of course, um, pin lock ready for both. Okay, so, so they're very similar in that regard. Um, and also in that category. So these are both pretty much the, the steps before the track versions of their helmet. Okay, the uh, Pista is the step up. Um, and the show. So the next bit will be price points. Um, 5 a.m. for the showy and pretty much uh, it's five eighty nine, I believe. So let's just say six hundred for the Shelly, and then nine hundred for this guy. So in that nine hundred range, you're almost into this guy's premier track helmet for almost the same price. But for the AGV, for that premium, you're gonna pay a little bit more. So even though they're in that same competitive market, you're paying a uh, almost a three hundred dollar difference just for going with the uh, AGV. So this is kind of like the, um, I'll call it like the Nike of the helmet world, okay? If you look on any of the, any of the pictures on social media, the platforms, this is the cool guy helmet, right? Not saying that people don't rock show or the brands, but they're known for the crazy designs and the crazy graphics 
which is also, of course, why I want to go with the two as well um, compared to the show. But yeah, price point, of course, obviously goes to the show. I think a better, better price for value than compared to this guy. Okay. So yeah, million dollar difference, 900, 600. Um, AGV Corsa R and then RF 1200 for the show. All right, guys. So next will be um, the air and kind of noise. Like, again, these are all my personal opinions. Again, like I said, this is not like I rode around that or, you know, rode up and down the street one time and called a review. I have about six months of riding or so, almost between both helmets. So I've had them for a very long time. Okay. Um, so noise and kind of airflow. Okay. So with that being said, um, I'm going to give the kind of quiet, again, this is an official rating. It's just on just riding with the same bikes and it's also had on it for the, for the whole time. I'm going to give sound to the uh, Shelly over the AGV. The AGV is a little bit louder. Um, however, there's, there's, there's a slight less wind coming up from the neck because of how much these hug around my neck. There's less wind coming up it. But as far as just sound in general, just, 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 this guy just, just feels more sound damning, that, if that's the thing. Obviously it isn't, but just when I have this helmet on, it just seems there's less noise. Um, and as far as, as far as airflow through the helmet, um, I'm going to give that to the AGV. Um, the Shoei, like, even though it has chin vents, which I'll show, but I'll show you now. Even though it has chin vents, right? They're, they're still very small inlets, right? Even for the chin. For the chin and for the crowd, it's still very small. So even though they have them, it's not as large of an opening as you get on the uh, on the AGV. Now, don't let this fool you, okay? Even though this might seem like this entire vent is, is flowing in air, it's not. There are actually three little small holes that channel air in. But you also, and of course, you also have, have a center piece as well uh, for both. But then again, like I said, it just with the AGV, it just feels like it's flowing much more air. And then also, um, you know, different reviews, I was going to tell you, this is more of a tuck position type of helmet, like, you know, more like for your sport bike. And again, this is my review to me riding a sport bike, okay? Different helmets are going to do differently in different settings. Meaning, if you're in a cruiser, if you're in a naked bike, the more upright or the more you're or down. Like this is designed for this for this type of riding position. Okay, that's why the uh, bits and are, are made the way they are. All the aerodynamics, they're all made for that kind of three quarter tuck position. Whereas I would say to show me. I won't say it isn't, I'll just say it's just, it feels more just sport oriented cruising more so than like track, or more of that track-ish focus riding, okay? So that's my difference on the two. Oh, so, little small key differences between the two that they they both do differently. I already, already mentioned how they sell. Now remember, it doesn't come in the box, but you can buy the uh, translucent transition uh, visor sold separately. You came with this, but on the flip side, um, this has a lining inside that you can flip around for um, cool or warm. So that's kind of cool. Um, I haven't personally done it. Um, it's been perfectly fine. I don't get, like I said, I, I feel less heat as far as like again with having that wind flow over the summer. I've had less feels like head sweat. I guess you want to call it with this guy um, compared to the showy, and that's not even with me changing this over. Or the more breathable side that that pretty much it injects the sweat and it like cools your head down. So I can flip so I can flip this inner lining around. It'll be much much cooler on my head. So that's another cool feature. This has they both have the the emergency release um, quick release for, for both helmets. So they're both the same. Um, so now we'll get into the the visor release system. Again, they're both they're both pretty easy. Um, I won't say they're, you know, one's more challenging than the other, but just different, okay? With the AGV, you have to leave it on the side, you click those, pops off, boom.
cards. This guy is, I guess, is the easiest of, of all of them. Um, there's a little latch right here you pull, pops off. Do the same for each side. Oh, pops off. And now putting it back on. Okay. Done. So This guy is much easier than this guy, but again, it's not, it's not super complicated. Um, one little bit other key point out on the AGV is that um, the locking mechanism for the for the um, visor again is it's kind of finicky. Like it can almost drop and close. See? So so that's a close, but it's not actually close. That's close. So it's a very fit, it's, it's, it's very weird. I'll say cheap. Yeah, I'll say cheap. For $900, they can do better on the, on um, having the visor, like, so like, like having the option so you don't have to carry around two visors in your bag. And they need to fix their mechanism for it having more locking. And of course, the center lock I actually like because that means for those of you out there who are left-handed or right-handed, guess what? Being in the center, it doesn't matter which hand you are. So that's a key, that's a cool thing. But how it locks, it's just cheap. Cheap plastic part, it's just cheap. So, um, for those of you moto vloggers out there, which of course I'm sure a lot of us are, um, it's it's more of a challenge to get a custom fitted uh, GoPro mount, whereas, it, whereas this guy is more rounded, so it's almost it's, it's easier, I'll say, for you to get a chin mount on this guy compared to the AGV. And again, that's why I went with these two, was because also, again, being a motor vlogger, I want a quieter helmet. Um, again, with this guy, there's more room in the helmet to like have the microphone in front of me, whereas this guy is very snug. So it's a challenge to find a it's a challenge to, to find a spot to put the mic in the right place where it isn't like right on top of my mouth. So, um, for the cause of that. So, um, overall, guys, again, in my opinion, obviously I bought it. Um, just this guy, it's, I mean, it's, I mean, look at it. I mean, you have the red on one side, the green on the other. I mean, this is just a dope helmet, you know. The show, the um, showy is cool. I mean, it does the job, but it just doesn't do, it just doesn't do it with style. But bar as far as function, this guy hands down is better function. So if it if it's if it's form over function, this guy. But like I said, if it's if the function part of it, what you're really looking for is what's the better functioning helmet is this guy. This guy does it on, like I said, decent airflow, decent style, better price point, one single visor, you know, you know, has a different um, parts for, look, I will say that though, last part, this is very hard to get to pop up though, I mean, because it, it seals, it seals. So this part, you don't need air coming in from the, from, from the visor, that's part. So, so because it's sealing itself, it's a little hard to get it open. Well, once it's open, for sure. Okay, so yeah guys, that is my review of the AGV Corsa R and the Shoei RF 1200. Again guys, I found them in a lot more reviews like this. I will get a cooler setup in the future. This is just, you know, for what I have for right now. As always, thank you for cooling with Jay and I will see y'all in the next tech review.